<laughs> you won't be seeing, hold on, let me get this accent, Paul McCartney. That's good. Okay, play in Sin City anytime soon because in an interview with the British GQ, the former Beatle says this, he has no interest in doing residency in Las Vegas, calling it a graveyard where you go to die. Fellow musician Elton John might disagree. His million dollar piano residency pulled in nearly 300 million bucks. Celine Dion took in 681 million bucks after playing in Vegas for 16 years. Al, you've played Vegas. I played Vegas once. Do you think it's there? Do you think it's there to go to die? I thought it was a revival of sorts. It, it really is. Me and my buddy Hannibal did the Mirage Theater where boys to men have their residency. First of all, took a picture of their dressing oh. room because I am a nerd. Love and that. yeah, I was like, oh my God. And, you know, but honestly, it makes sense as somebody I only toured for uh, 12, 13 years, but there were years back to back where I was on tour 36 weeks, 40 weeks in a row. I couldn't imagine being a megastar. Maybe you want people to come to you for a little while. So you have them, you have the same theater, you put your apartment above it. This yeah, is that's a palatial a mansion. Right. You take the elevator down, you do your show, you go back upstairs and put your bathrobe back on. Sounds like a good deal to me, Paul. Sorry, bro. I th and also, Paul, though, is a traveling musician. Like, I've seen him on tour. He's like 74, I believe, and he still plays three hours on tour. Erica, is he just more of a road guy? Well said, Tori. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I don't I don't really know. That's not exactly you know my frame of knowledge. My frame of knowledge is being the daughter of a mortician, and I just want to know what graveyards are you visiting, Paul? <laughs> because I've never seen a graveyard that's coming up in the 300s, 400 million dollars. Yeah. I think it's a smart decision, especially for people who have children. They want to give them some sense of normalcy and consistency. That's not a graveyard, Paul. You want to see a graveyard? I will take you to a graveyard. I will show you a graveyard. <laughs> also, I think Paul McCartney makes like 300 grand just by being Paul McCartney like every Who minute. Doesn't? So he's fine, I think.